Richard, a wealthy entrepreneur who had worked tirelessly for his fortune, had always been willing to share his wealth with his new wife, Isabella. However, as he began observing peculiar changes in her behavior, he started to rethink his choices. Determined to test her loyalty, Richard disguised himself as a homeless man to hide his true identity. He approached their home, asked her a question, and was utterly shocked by her astonishing reply. This unsettling interaction left Richard questioning his decision to marry her. Taking every care to remain inconspicuous, he parked his car a block from the house, making sure it escaped his wife's sight. The hood of his jacket carefully shielded his face, and he was cautious to avoid making eye contact and giving himself away. By concealing his identity, he hoped to witness her true intentions. As he knocked on the door of his very own home, he patiently awaited for his wife to answer it. When she eventually swung the door open, he asked the carefully crafted question he had rehearsed. But when he heard her response, disbelief washed over him like a tidal wave. Could it be possible? Had his wife truly said those words? Richard was taken aback by more than just Isabella's response. Peering through the kitchen window, he was surprised to come face to face with someone he never anticipated seeing. It became evident that Isabella had been hiding something big from him. When Richard posed as a homeless man, what exactly did he say to Isabella? How did she respond? And who was the unexpected person he spotted through the kitchen window? With a loving kiss goodbye to his wife, Richard set off for work. Exiting the door of his extravagant and grand home, he entered his expensive car, a testament to his unimaginable wealth, and made his way to the office. In reality, it was offices, as Richard was the successful owner of multiple companies, a result of his relentless climb to the heights of success. As a wealthy billionaire who had built his fortune from scratch, he remained committed to his daily work routine. Approximately a year ago, he tied the knot with Isabella. Soon after she moved in with him, she made the decision to quit her job. He thought this was a fine idea. Although neither of them had to work due to his wealth, he enjoyed his job and decided to continue working. Despite coming from a financially disadvantaged background, Isabella had always worked jobs she disliked purely for the sake of earning an income. However, with her marriage to Richard, there was finally some rest for her. Together, they had discussions and reached an agreement that allowed Isabella to enjoy a well-deserved break. Richard kept up his work routine while Isabella resigned from her job, taking charge of household chores and responsibilities, making sure of cleanliness, grocery shopping, meal preparation, and more household chores became her domain. Remarkably, this arrangement was a seamless fit in their lives, benefiting both Richard and Isabella. Each morning, Richard would diligently head to work before Isabella awoke, and upon his return in the evening, he would be greeted by the enticing aroma of a home-cooked dinner. Together, they would enjoy their meal, savor a glass of wine, engage in conversation about their days, and then tackle the chore of washing the dishes side by side. Gradually, Richard began to notice some unexpected behavior from Isabella, leaving him confused. Uncertain of how to interpret it, he decided not to immediately confront her, not wanting to upset her if his suspicions proved false. So, he recognized the need to think up a good plan. After much contemplation, he reached a decision on the most effective approach. To ensure Isabella wouldn't recognize him, he decided to disguise himself as a homeless man and approach his own house. By doing so, he hoped to uncover the answers he was looking for. One day, he grabbed some old jeans and ripped holes in them. He put them in a bag, along with a dark jacket and hoodie, and placed this bag in his car so he could take it with him the next day. Of course, he wouldn't tell Isabella about any of this, and he would pretend he was just going to work. The next morning, he left for work dressed in his suit and tie, as always. 
but after a couple of hours when he was sure that Isabella had woken up, he changed into the clothes he had brought with him and he drove back home. He parked his car one block away so she wouldn't see it, and he walked up to the door. He made sure the hood of his jacket was over his head, so Isabella wouldn't be able to see his face. He knocked on the door a few times and stood back, keeping his distance. About half a minute later, he heard someone unlocking the door from the inside, and then it opened. There stood Isabella, and from the look on her face, it was obvious that she did not recognize him. Yes? she asked. Richard knew that this was going to be it, the moment he would find out the truth. He had already thought of what he wanted to say, so he took a deep breath and opened his mouth. I'm sorry to disturb you, madam. I am in need of a meal and shelter for the night. Could you spare some food and a place to rest, he said, softly and without looking up. It was silent for a few seconds, and then Isabella stared at him with a confused look on her face. When she finally responded, Richard didn't know what he was hearing. He had never expected her to react like that. Maybe he had been wrong about her after all. He decided not to blow his cover and leave right away, but then something caught his attention. He saw some movement through one of the kitchen windows as he walked past them, and he realized that someone else must be inside the house with Isabella. His first instinct was to run back to the front door, get inside the house, and save his wife from this intruder. But then he saw that it was not just a stranger. He recognized this person's face, even though he hadn't seen them in a long time. What were they doing here? He hadn't spoken to them in months. Richard decided to stay a little longer, just to check out this situation in his kitchen. He wanted to know what was going on. A minute later, Isabella walked into the kitchen, and when he saw how she interacted with her guest, everything became clear to him. He realized that his wife has been keeping a huge secret from him. She has probably been lying to him for a long, long time. Richard thought about what to do next. He could confront her right now, about her guest as well as her reaction to his homeless character but he could also take some time to think about what he wanted to say exactly and have a conversation with her later that night. He decided to go for that second option. He drove back to work and tried to focus on doing his job, but he found that he could not simply forget about what he had heard and seen earlier that day. The entire day he wondered about how he could not have seen the signs before. His colleagues even noticed that he was out of it, and this was really unlike him. He sat behind his desk, thinking about everything that had happened. It all only lasted a couple of minutes, but in those minutes, he found out two important things about his wife, and both things were horrible. Had he really been so wrong about her? The first thing he found out had to do with that guest he had seen in the kitchen today. He put the pieces of the puzzle together, and it all made sense now. Isabella had been behaving a bit weirdly lately, and this had to be the reason why. That person was definitely coming over to their house more often, if not daily. And of course, only when Richard was at work, so he wouldn't see them. He had to hand it to Isabella. She had played it smart. But now, he was on to her. He would wait for the right moment to confront her about it. And the second thing he had found out about his wife was something he had also never seen coming. It had to do with her answer to Homeless Richard's question. Had he really misjudged her this badly? Richard wondered who he was even married to. He decided to leave work early and drive around town for a bit so he could clear his heat and figure out what he was going to do next. She probably had no idea that he knew her secret now, so he needed to play his cards right. A few hours later, when he was supposed to go home from work anyway, Richard finally knew what he was going to do. He was going to confront Isabella during dinner that night. He didn't know exactly what he was going to say to her, but he figured he would think of the right words in the moment. He still couldn't believe the words she had spoken when he had asked her for shelter and some food. He didn't know what he had expected, but it certainly wasn't something like this. 
If anyone else had told him this about his wife, he wouldn't have believed them. Now, however, he had witnessed it himself, and then this guest, this huge secret she had been keeping from him. Did she really think he would never find out? Richard was often willing to forgive and forget, but in this case, he could not just let it go and pretend like nothing happened. However, that was exactly what he needed to do for now. When he came home, he sat in his car for a minute before getting out and going inside. He really needed to do his best to make it seem like any other day, perfectly normal, nothing weird going on. As he opened the door, he said, Honey, I'm home, and prepared his poker face. She walked into the hallway to greet him, and as soon as he laid eyes on her, he knew that his plan was going to be a lot more difficult to carry out than he'd expected. But he couldn't look at her the same way anymore, not after she had shown her true colors earlier that day. He avoided looking her directly in the eyes, because he was scared she would see something was wrong immediately. She knew him too well. He wished he could say the same about her. During dinner, Isabella pretended like nothing out of the ordinary had happened that day. She did not even mention a homeless man knocking on the door, and she also made it seem like she had been home alone all day. However, Richard knew the truth. He even asked her, Has anything special happened today while I was at work? And she just shook her head, saying, No, what makes you think that? Richard decided not to give up just yet. If she admitted it herself, it would make everything a lot easier for him. So, he told her that he had bumped into one of their neighbors on the street, Nick, and he had told him that he'd seen a dangerous-looking man at their door that day. He asked if you were all right, because he knew I was at work and thought you were home alone. Of course, this wasn't true, but he just wanted to see her reaction. Isabella almost immediately answered, Oh, yeah, that's right. I had already forgotten about that. That's true. There was someone at the door, but it was just a man asking for directions. I helped him out, and he left right away. She smiled at him, and it really seemed like she was speaking the truth. But Richard knew better. To anyone else, it might have been unnoticeable, but Richard had seen her expression chance for just a split second. She looked worried, surprised even. However, she snapped out of it right away and put a smile back on her face in an instant. Richard thought she should have become an actress. He had planned on confronting her about everything during dinner, but he knew she would deny all of it. That much was clear to him now. If he wanted to confront her, he needed proof, and this meant that he had to wait. If he wanted to do it right, he needed to be patient. He stopped asking Isabella about the events of earlier that day, not wanting to raise suspicion. He decided to take his time and think of a plan, see what was the best way to approach this whole situation. Because as the evening progressed and the newly married couple enjoyed their dinner together, one thing became clear to Richard. He wasn't sure whether he wanted to be married to anyone like Isabella. He had already suspected that the money had influenced her maybe a little too much, and chances were that he was right about it. You see, it all had to do with what she had said to the homeless man at her door. To understand why that hurt him so much, you must know some things about Richard. He was a very rich man, that was true. However, he grew up poor. His family did not have much when he was a kid and he was often bullied because of it in school. Most of his clothes were very old and worn, and he spent most of his days hungry. Now it was the complete opposite. He had worked really hard for many years to finally have this life, a life he had always dreamed of. But he never forgot where he came from, and he always helped others whenever he could. He regularly sent money to his family and friends who had less than him, but that wasn't all. He frequently donated large amounts of money to homeless shelters and organizations for people and animals in need. He found it very important to be there for others, especially now that he had so much money he did not even need to survive. After all, he knew how difficult their lives could be. 
he spent the last few months believing that he had found those same qualities in the person he was going to spend the rest of his life with. But perhaps it had all been a mistake. He had already been doubting their relationship, but now he finally knew that his gut feeling was right. He always thought Isabella was a nice person, but lately he noticed the way her personality had changed. She started acting as if she was better than everyone else because she had expensive clothes and makeup. She had turned into a really arrogant and boastful person, and he absolutely hated it. Especially the way she treated homeless Richard told him more than she could have ever imagined. He had hoped that she would try to help a person in need if they showed up at her door, so that's why he came up with the whole plan. But her reaction had absolutely shocked him. When she opened the door, she didn't even try to hide the disgust on her face. And when he had asked her for help, and, mind you, he hadn't asked for much, she exploded. He had hoped she would be kind and helpful, maybe give him some money or a bottle of water. But instead, she did exactly the opposite. She told him, How dare you stand at my door, bringing filth into our lives, leave at once, beggar, and bother someone else. That wasn't all, but the other names she called him were not words Richard wanted to repeat. He didn't even know she had them in her vocabulary. He was absolutely shocked to hear these hurtful words coming out of her mouth. And that wasn't even everything. She wasn't only extremely mean and hateful, she was also lying to Richard. She insisted that she had been home alone that day, but that was just another big, fat lie. Richard had seen with his own eyes that someone else was in the house with her. And it wasn't just anyone. Let's just say that this guest's presence showed that Isabella had been lying to Richard not just this one day, but for the past few months. She definitely showed him he couldn't trust her. But like he decided earlier that evening, he needed proof before he confronted her. The next day, he left for work, as usual. However, in the middle of the day, he drove by the house again to see whether Isabella was having this guest over again. He parked his car a block away, just like he had the day before, and quickly sneaked over to the house. He hid behind the corner and took a few deep breaths before he gathered the courage to look through the window. He did not want to get caught, but he also was a little bit nervous about what he would see. However, he knew that he needed answers and since Isabella wouldn't give them to him, he needed to find them himself. He quickly glanced through the kitchen window again, and sure enough, there they were. Isabella and the same person who Richard had seen there yesterday. He was really surprised, but at the same time, it all made sense now. He had to hand it to Isabella. She had played it smart. You see, the other person who was there was Sarah, Richard's old cleaner. Before he met Isabella, Sarah used to come by the house a couple of times a week to help with various tasks around the house, of course, in return for generous compensation. But he hadn't seen her in a long time now. When Isabella moved in and quit her job, they didn't need Sarah anymore. His wife took on most of the housekeeping duties and kept everything neat and clean. Or, well, that's what Richard thought. Apparently, Isabella had stayed in touch with the woman. Richard realized that she had been calling Sarah to come over and clean the house, and all this time she had been lying to him. She pretended that she had been doing a lot of work, but apparently it was someone else who did all of it. And of course, she paid Sarah with Richard's money. He didn't mind her taking his money, but he did not like the fact that she was hiding it from him. He had no problem sponsoring her lavish and luxurious lifestyle, but she didn't even commit to her part of their agreement. If she wasn't going to do anything in the house, she could at least get a job. He knew he did not want to wait any longer. He walked over to the front door, took his key, and opened it. As he went in this time, he didn't yell, Honey, I'm home, but instead he didn't say anything. He wanted to see the look of surprise on her face when she saw him. He walked over to the kitchen and said, Good morning, ladies. How is it going today? 
Isabella turned pale, but Sarah smiled warmly and replied, Perfect, Mr. Richard. How are you? It's good to finally see you again. As it turned out, Sarah had no idea that Isabella was keeping this a secret from her husband. He asked his wife, Isa, can we talk over here for a moment? And she nodded and followed him to the living room. He closed the door before asking her, What is going on? Isabella denied everything at first, but eventually she gave in and told him the truth, not just about Sarah, but also about the homeless man knocking on the door. Richard was glad that she finally opened up, but now he was even more sure that he wanted to get a divorce. Her reply to his question about why she hadn't just helped that man was, What? Why would I do something like that? He was disgusting. He smiled as he told her that it had actually been him, and when she realized this, she turned red with embarrassment. They tried talking it out for a couple more weeks, but Richard knew that he just could not be with someone who was so self-centered and arrogant. Eventually, he asked her to sign the divorce papers, and Isabella was heartbroken. She was probably more sad about losing the money than losing Richard. Besides, she had to move back in with her parents now, and this meant the end of her luxury lifestyle. Richard was happy with his decision, and he hired Sarah to work for him again, even raising her pay. Months later, he finally met another woman who shared the same values in life, and together they raised a beautiful family. Now, the life he had always dreamed of was finally complete. If you love hearing stories of people using their own wealth to help others in need, and you like heartwarming tales of generosity, then subscribe for more.